Howdy ho people, welcome back. It's Sunday, June the 27th. It's just afternoon and it's time for a real quick tour. You can see these pink eye purple holes are looking good. Peppers, we've had uh, quite a few that we've picked off of those. And then on the other side, you've got some eggplant. Um, I think most of those are like the black ones. Uh, Black Beauty or something like that. And then we've got some graffiti eggplant. A little bit smaller. They were started from seed, not starch. So This right here is the special treatment tomatoes that Russell has put together. He's taken a lot of pride, a lot of effort into them. Anyhow, we're growing those. I don't think we've picked any of those yet. It's possible. We'll take a look at those down a little bit better. But from here you can even from here you can tell where the black-eyed peas the crowders the cow peas those are on the second row I think the first ones are the crowders and then a little bit beyond that is the pink eye purple holes first row is tomatoes we'll get a better look at that in just a few minutes you may notice that we put a new trellis up here I did that today I did a video about it for those of you who aren't interested in watching all the the work put in and it's pretty boring it's just me sitting there putting strings on tying the tomato plants to the tomato uh, the tomato loops the tomato clips but uh, we've got some real nice ones that are growing up in there looking forward to those yes a couple of them sitting a little bit low but hopefully they'll be all right i think those may be the cherokee purples this corn is really getting you know something else i've tried reaching up there that corn's about eight feet tall on a few of them anyhow a lot of people ask or at least a family asks me why those down there don't seem to be doing as well as these down here it's fairly simple these down here the ones that have all this the tassels on top those were planted two weeks before the others those should come in two weeks before the ones down on the other end so that we don't have to deal with all the corn at the same time allows for fresh eat and a little bit longer extended harvest i guess you'd say we've got some butter beans on this aisle otherwise known as lima beans heard an interesting story we used to import those from lima peru and they had on the box from lima so they called them lima beans the okra we had our first really good harvest off of that last year uh, a little bit earlier than we did this year yesterday we harvested again had enough for a nice mess squash doing real well I'm kind of fired up a little bit about down on the other end of the okra that's planted in the middle because we've got three no excuse me five scallop squash plants planted there and I'm interested to see how those taste. They're supposed to taste like regular squash, but they're going to look like a UFO, or a lot like a patty pan. But they're also, but they're called scallop squash. Here on this trellis, we've got black-eyed peas. Nope, scratch that. We've got on the first end, we've got cucumbers, three different kinds. We have burpless. Then beside that, I believe we have the straight eight, and on the other side of that, the lemon. The rest of the trellis is filled up with rattlesnake beans. And then we've got, I believe they call them butter peas planted down there. Hadn't had much of a chance to weed down there, so it looks a little on the rough side. Tomato plants. We've harvested a few off these first couple. These are called the Goliath. They seem to have really nice tomatoes. I don't think they're known for their taste, but they are very, they seem to be very pro prolific through here. Quite a few of them. We'll take a look at the watermelons real quick. This row right here is all done from seed, core gardening, and we buried hay below them. This side here was starts and went through and did a melon pit or a uh, pumpkin pit on the bottom. And we're getting quite a few watermelons, you know, throughout here there seem to be you know we're gonna have a good harvest of watermelons this year
trying to put cardboard underneath them to make sure that they don't have any problems with them rotting. I have trouble telling one from the other, except for I know that one right there is a Charleston Gray. Charleston Gray is one of the biggest varieties that we've planted as far as the size of the fruit. Had a couple there and almost stepped on that one right there. But uh, still, they're beautiful plants. They seem to be doing pretty well. I need to see if I can get some more nitrogen in these. We do have quite a bit of weeds in between the two rows of cloth, weed block cloth. And I will be, next year, I'm going to make sure it's one solid covering. Another Charleston Gray. And then we run over here into the pumpkin plants. Pumpkins will put down roots on different nodes. I don't think I don't know if they can do that on the weed block, but those sure look firmly planted. These first or that first one is a cooking pumpkin variety, sweet variety. These others are jack o' lantern. I, I expect you can still eat them, but they're better for making making jack o' lanterns out of. I expect a lot of good seeds out of there too. Throw a little cinnamon, a little sugar on it, it'll be good. More squash plants. Here's the okra from a different angle. The corn, you can kind of see where the tassels are on the other end, not on this end. But the interesting thing about that though is the corn on this end, some of it's getting about as tall as that down there. It was planted two weeks later. These are butter beans again. Got some pink eye purple holes planted here. Pink eye purple holes planted there. Peppers. Pepper plants. They seem to be doing all right. I mulched them, try and retain, protect the heat, the ground below it, just to make sure that it doesn't get too hot too quickly. Obviously, some of them it may have been too late for, but I'm very happy with the way some of these are growing. I get a chance to, you know, maybe overwinter them. Anyhow, those over there are crowders. These down here are pink eye purple holes. And you can see where they're starting to get some beans on them. Looking forward to that. Tomato plant with some tomatoes. We'll take it real quick through here. A lot of leaf curl on it. I'm gonna have to make sure these things get watered. But uh, I'm very pleased with, a lot of these have, you know, like two tomatoes on them. They're trying to make some seed, I expect. There's striped German, that's striped German as well. I'm expecting those to get pretty good sized tomatoes. Black Crim, I believe, right? Nope, that one's Black Crim. I'll have to check out and see what that one is in a minute. That may be Big Beef or Big Boy. Right here, these are, these I believe are the big beef. And here on the end is heat wave. Anyhow, uh, and this, I'm gonna be doing a video on this one for this row. I've already pulled the potatoes out of it, but I'm gonna be doing a video I expect on preparing this row for, you know, for the fall planting. I get a chance to use my flame weeder, my flamethrower again. That's exciting news. Here's a little bit better view of the Better Boys. Got the, the special Russell treatment on them. As you can tell, they're starting to put on a bunch of tomatoes. I don't think any of them have turned ripe yet, but all in due time. It's a question of timing, people. Question of timing. Look at all the tomatoes on that one. Goodness. All right. I wasn't trying to make this a long video, but it was, it is Sunday, so it's time for another update. And uh, thank y'all for your time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell if you want notifications when we upload. Hit the like button, dislike button, regardless of what you do, and leave a comment. If you have a question or just want to make a comment, feel free. I'll read every one of them and respond. Thanks. Bye.